what in the name of Jesus Christmas is David Saker doing? You've got to cut that out. <laughs> you do really have to cut that out. First question is from Matt Summerford. If there was an Argus review now, would it suggest Mitch Johnson open a fast bowlers academy? Should he anyway? I mean, that's how much things have changed, yeah. It looks like England now need a review at the beach. And the Australia didn't even listen to their Argus review. I'm not even sure that they've improved by anything that they've done, if that makes sense. Uh, but it's actually what they've done in the last little while. We can catch a cricket with too much bureaucracy. They've got young player incentives. They've cut out the cold pack players in county cricket. And I appreciate that all the intentions were good. But the end effect is to weaken the county game, which created a gap between the county game and the international game, and it's going to come back to fight. Do you think they've booked Don Argus? They could just book me. Jason Anderson, I believe no relation, um, asks, Australian conditions or the kookaburra ball, why is Jimmy so ineffectual in Australia? I mean, you couldn't get much worse than what Bailey did to it. You know, you couldn't get any well, worse. Well, you could get one run worse, and it would have been an equal... Uh, I don't, I don't think he's record. as bad as uh, the figures look. I think he's bowled okay. He's not getting a lot of movement, which is the worry. He shouldn't have been bowling today. I thought that was the first time I've seen Cook's captaincy look really poor. Uh, I thought, you, you've got a gem like that, you don't use it to unblock the sink. And I thought it was really sad that uh, he was forced to bowl in a situation there where the bowlers were just getting flogged around. It was because he was, as ever, the last man standing and he suffered for being reliable and consistent not getting into it. Robert Drummond says, what changes do England make for Melbourne? Prior, rest Anderson, rest KP. Personally, look, I'd send Anderson home. I, would put, I might even send Cook home, and I might send um, Swan, I don't know, that's their manager. And they came into work, that's their editor or something like that, and they came into work looking like that. I'd slap them on the back and try to get them for a rest. That's Actually, you tell them to go to the pub. I might do that, yeah. Mark Johnston says, should Australia rest some players like Johnson, Harris and Warner to give Hughes, cool tonight, etc. It's amazing we're on the other end. So now if we've won 3 nil, we can rest people. Um, I think I want to. I think Harris probably, you know, if they want to get the next 18 months out of him, you might rest him. But everyone else should continue to play because they've only just come back into form. You don't want to rest them. I think if you're an Australian player and you've played in this generation, you don't want to be missing many Ashes series. You don't want to miss many games where you're winning, where you've won the Ashes yeah. at the MCG in front of 100,000 people. That's pretty special. Like you it. want to be there. Adam Twitty says, if KP can't play sensibly a risk free when required, is he, an in is he incomplete as a test batsman? Everyone's incomplete. We're all flawed. Well, uh, <laughs> So yeah, he probably is, but he's also brilliant. So, look, Brian Lara was flawed. Gabriel Tobers was flawed. Everyone's flawed. Bradman was flawed. Maybe not in cricket, but in other ways. Everyone's flawed. And I think with KP, look, clearly today didn't look good. But you have to take the rough with the smooth a little bit. He's a genius. I don't know. I don't, you don't see a rainbow behind a desk. I think you just got to treat him a little bit differently. <laughs> James Ash says, does anybody else miss Nick Compton? You yes. probably miss him more than anyone in the world. Well, he shouldn't have been dropped. Prabhu says, with Broad and Delft for the next test, who should England pick? Uh, I'd probably pick Rankin. Yeah. Hello. I think if you're going to bring Rankin out, and if Finn isn't bowling well, and Tremont didn't look up to it, why not see if, if Rankin is any good? I, I think he bowls a little bit too short, but I think they can fix that. And if he doesn't play now, he's going to be 30 or 31 maybe by the next time he has a If he's still bowling short, and he's been in Australia for two months, what in the name of Jesus Christmas is David Saker doing? Martin Davies says, has KP ever batted for the team? Yeah, sure he has. Many times. M many, many times. He takes games away. I, I think Kevin Peterson's the best England batsman I've ever seen, and I just wonder who people are going to find in county cricket who's going to average, what, 47, 48? Who's going to play innings like the one in Mumbai or Colombo or Leeds? Good luck. I haven't seen them. Paul Frame says, should Australia pick an all Victorian 11 next test so we can say that Victoria have won the Ashes? Well, Victoria have won the Ashes. So I we think don't if Victoria played Warwickshire, Warwickshire would win. That's full strength. In lawn bowls. Tom Colomossi says, do you have any ideas how to soothe particularly itchy insect bite? Yes, two you, paramedics. You allow two paramedics and then random men to suck at your arm. I, I don't know what bit it, but whatever the animal is, I hear it's got food poisoning. Farouk no Nomani says, who is the better cricketer between the two of you? I think we will both agree that it's me.